I hope this is all fitting in the frame. This is the SIC Deno Wingform figure. Comes in some special box. It was some sort of special release. I don't read Japanese, so I don't know what it was. Um, you can see sword form and wing form here. Um, on this side, you've got the sword form Momotaro's pack. The these didn't all come together like they indicate, but each of the forms and each of the Imagine, except for Sieg, has been released in the SIC line, including Climax and Liner Form and Zeronos and Zero Form. Um, when you open this, you've got some thing else in there. Let's get it out. See what it is. What I think it is, it's a magazine of some kind or another box. It's a box inside of a box. Which again shows you wing form. It was a limited edition item to Hobby Japan, maybe. Alright. Inside you have three bubbles. Um, let's look at the figure first. The first one contains the figure. And this thing fell out. Wing form is a great form of denos. I like the white. Um, I did not grab any of the other forms of deno. So I don't have to compare it with it, but uh, this one is all white with a gold undersuit, whereas the other ones are all black. Um, come on. Uh, sword form. As you can see, it's a black undersuit, uh, black overall. The legs are black with the swatches of color here. It's reversed. Um, I like how wing form is, is very, very different from the regular forms. Um, and this is a figure art, and this is an SIC, so you can see the size difference. Wingform has a great mask, um, great shoulders, shoulder pads, which on the SIC are not as limited as they look like they might be because none of this stuff attaches. It attaches up there, same as all the other ones. Um, he's got full shoulder movement, he's got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, a swivel wrist with a hinge on the hand side. Um, <clears throat> he's got a ball jointed ab so you can move him around. He's got double jointed knees. He's got a very good range of motion in his ankle hinge and rotates and swivels and twists every which way and there's a toe joint too. And the hips as you can see are able to go up pretty high. They go out probably finagle them to go out farther if you try it hard enough and stuff can fall out so one of the things that I both like and dislike about the SIC figures is that they can do the form change gimmick <clears throat> um, all of the SIC Deno figures are based off of the first one that was released which was sword form tried the gimmick that you could pop stuff out um, I don't know if these ones are glued in I hope they are actually but on the other figures, this colored piece would pop out so you can switch between the red of sword form and the blue of rod form and the purple of gun form and the gold of axe form. Um, the chest can pop off. Let's just take that out. The, uh, the chest can come off so you can swap it with the different backs and the different fronts. Um, the reason sword form did this was to turn into platform. And maybe I'll do a review of that sometime. But because that one could do it, they all can do it. With the, although wing form would look wrong because it doesn't have the right colors. Um, so they can all do that. That makes it, that makes them sometimes a little fiddly to play with because sometimes things will fall off or pop open. Um, I think these just come off because they can. These are metal, as are the anklets and the wrist dealies. So it gives them a little more heft. He also has 
different belt that pops off because the other ones could pop off to swap between sword form and platform. And he's got the, uh, do they have a name for those? I can't remember, but to hold the Den Gasher. Wing form comes with the Den Gasher in its uh, little hatchet and boomerang form for him. Um, but it can also disassemble to store on the belt pieces for the two blades. It comes with extra little bits here that you can swap out. And since this one has the connection point at an angle, it comes with an alternate straight version. So you can take those off, take them apart, and hang them on his belt. Like that. If you wanted to. I don't know why you would ever really display him without his weapons, so I don't. That's why I've never taken them out of the package. He also comes with a, um, a den liner pass that he can hold. It's nicely painted on both sides. Um, does he come with... Oh, no, I don't have his hands here. He may or may not come with a hand to, to hold it. I don't remember now. I forgot to get the hands out. He also comes with wings. When, when he transforms into wing form in the show, there's a brief flash where the wings show up behind the figure. And here they are. And they come in two separate trays. Why did this fall out and not go back in? There we go. We got this tray that has these two bits of very mechanical steampunk looking wings and this tray which has the base or a stand I guess, an entire stand and the rest of the wings so I've never used the stand but if you were going to display them with these wings you probably would want to use it um, or some stand if not this one because um, they're they're pretty big I mean this part is plastic and quite light in and of itself, but it's almost as tall as as uh, that one. And of course this one is huge. So, let's see if we can put them together. I believe it should go like this. Click, and then you can kind of adjust them how you want. And then he's got two holes in his back to peg the thing into. Come on, there we go. And the connection is is nice and secure. I'm not concerned about it falling out. But it is going to make the figure back heavy. Even though the components aren't too heavy by themselves, it's pulling the center of gravity back quite a bit. But he can stand with them. I just, if you were going to display it on the shelf, a lot of the leg joints are loose-ish, as you just saw. It just kind of collapsed. So I would be concerned about displaying it on the uh, shelf. Um, apparently, it's also pulling on the. Oh, it pulled the back part off. As I said, he does, he does stand up like that on his own, but I would, and I will, um, when I go to display him like this, I will set up the stand. Just to make sure that the figure doesn't fall apart, the gravity doesn't ex eventually pull the leg joints down. Um, anyway, this was as I said, an exclusive figure, so it's kind of expensive and hard to come across now. Um, I got mine on Mandarake, I think, for around six or 7,000 yen. I'd have to go look to be sure. I'm going to guess it was more like 7,000, which is roughly 70, probably more $75 for what the exchange rate was last year when I got it. Um, but totally worth it. It's my, it's probably my second favorite form of Deno, and the style on the SIC figures is fantastic. The posability makes them very um, 
playable figures. And I mean, just check out how cool those wings are. They're gorgeous looking. Uh, so for it to be being one of my favorite forms, and and that it is, uh, I thought it was worth it. I don't know that everybody is going to feel that way. I don't know why he doesn't want to sit and stand up a bit more. Ta-da! So wing form Deno. As I see, very cool. I cannot wait for them to release the SI, these rather the SH Figure Arts version someday, hopefully soon. Since they've got Axe Form is out, and Rod Form and Gun Form are coming out in a couple of months. This exclusive Liner Form is out, Climax Form is out, Wing Form is the only one that hasn't been announced yet. And so I'm certain sure that we'll get them soon. I look forward to getting it. Thanks for watching.